What's up, everybody? Uh, well, today we're discussing Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. <clears throat> Seems like uh, he is, uh, he's done with the Lakers. He's, he's done with them, he said. He said he's through with them. He, if you would saw him last night uh, in his game versus the T-Wolves, he actually just turned his back on the Lakers. <clears throat> in pre-games, there was warming up, and he's, and they're warming up together. But he's on the side by the scores table, putting on lotion and powder in his hands. He's saying, uh, yeah, this is, this is my, this is my normal routine on how I usually do. <clears throat> that's what he's telling the reporters when asked. Yeah, it's my, that's my normal routine. I, I've been doing this for umpteen years since I've been in the league. But right now, you're with a, with a whole new organization that's, you know, that's about championships. And they actually had a championship before you came. So it's a different type of culture. That you should be obliged by. If you if you're on the team, you should be a teammate. And I guess you know Russell. You know he was in his feelings. He was in his feelings, and he he hated them when they uh, traded and got uh, Patrick Beverly on the team. Now, case in point, they was on the court. They was on the court today. I mean, excuse me, yesterday they was on the court and uh, they was like down something and they, I guess uh, the Timberwolves made a good play and uh, Patrick Beverly was trying to gather everybody together so I'm like, come on, yeah, let's go, come on guys let's keep your head in the game, man we won't let them, uh, they made one play we'll keep your head in the game, you know and as he was trying to gather everybody there but the rest book was fading off and he waved at Patrick Beverly like, no, nah, I'm not coming in the uh, circle. Anthony Davis, who was in the circle, along with LeBron James, was in the circle. <clears throat> Anthony Davis walked over to Russell like, come on, man, let's get in the circle. And he like, no, nah. he waved his hand. He waved his hand at him very quickly. Okay, what kind of, what kind of person who's want to be a teammate who's saying they want to win a championship, what kind of teammate is that? You don't want to win a championship if you don't want to listen. How's your belly? He's telling you. You know what I'm Let's come on. Get in the huddle. We, we all together, man. All that old stuff that me and you had, that beef, that was because I was on the opposition. And Patrick Beverly, he's one of those guys, you know, he's an irritant. He's an irritant. You know what I'm When he plays, he plays hard. You know, he's one of those guys that you want on your team, but you hate when you play against him because he's going to hack you. He's going to be all up on you, sweating, swinging at the ball, talking crazy. And that's how him mean, Westbrook, that's how they, they're known for. You know, so he's known, but he, well, he injured Westbrook. And, that, and Westbrook never forgave him that one time when he was uh, with the Houston Rockets and Westbrook was with the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder. And Westbrook was going to the, to the score table and called a timeout. And Patrick Beverly ran over there, aggressive, out of control, OC, that's what we call it, Chicago, OC. And, you know, ran into his leg. And that actually broke his leg. You know, and Pat Beverly wasn't trying to intentionally break his leg, but, you know, get a little aggressive, things happen. So uh, his leg got broke and he never forgave him since then. That was about eight years ago. At least eight years ago. And they've both been on several different teams since then. You know, and he's been giving Pat Bev still was going to irritate you. Whatever team you're on, if you're not on his team, he's going to irritate you. So he don't care. He's going to irritate 
get you regardless. But in the West Westbrook, he wasn't having that shit. You know what I'm saying? He said, I don't care if you're on my team or not. I don't like you. I, you know what I'm saying? I understand that. But you can't show that when you're on the team. You can't, you can't just show that you don't fuck with the person. You got to do it in private. Can't show up to you. you. Can't show up in front of everybody and in front of the whole uh, the whole Laker Nation and then see it. You can't do it. You gotta you gotta show some professionalism. You know what I'm saying? When you're in the NBA, that's why they brought you over there. They thought they could win with you. They wanted LeBron gave his chance. He gave you a chance again because you was with uh, the Washington Wizards. Which I think you should have stayed there. Because you was with the Washington Wizards. But you took LeBron up on his offer. To come to the Lakers. Because that's your hometown. Okay. If that's your hometown. Okay. Then you should be a court. You should, you should play accordingly. Like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? They do one championship without you. So they don't need you. But they, they offer you to come. They offer you a chance to come and play. But Pat Bev was trying to. Gather everyone together in the huddle. Russ Westbrook, he was like, man, F that. I ain't even trying to hear nothing to what he got to say. Okay, bro, this is this is a game. This is a, we in the middle of a game. You can't have no feelings like that. You can't do none of that. All that, and, and you, especially how you've been playing for the last couple of years, you've been the worst point guard I've ever seen in the, my first time, point guard I've ever seen. I've never seen no. Point guard have the ball like him and lose ball, shoot crazy threes, out of control, and then you don't want to listen. So Darvin Ham said he's gonna put Russell Westbrook on the bench and see how does that work. You know what I'm coming off him, coming off the bench, try to lead the second team. But what does what, what is that gonna do? He's gonna do the same thing. And mess that and mess up the second unit. Act like he can't do a, a simple layup. He got to throw it all up above the rim. He got to touch the uh, touch the shot clock. The hit come down. Come on, man. And do you want to win or do you just want to you just want to bust? You want to patch your stats? Because saying like that's what you want to do. You thought you was back in Oklahoma. You can just patch your stats. But LeBron, he won some championships. While patting his stats, he wants to still play the game. He going for the he going for the Kareem record, but he's still scoring, and he's still trying to put his team in position to win. But LeBron ain't the same. LeBron, LeBron, thirty seven years old. Shit, he can't take no team to the finals like he used to. He did his shit. He did it eight years in a row, nine years in a row. What a with a mop broom and a it's a Windex to pass off. You can't do that no more. He is 37 years old, 40. He can't do this. He can't. He can't play like he used to. Them days over with. So you're gonna have to play on the team. You're gonna have to be a team player. Well, what's what's but he wasn't trying to hit that. He still. He still, he's still infatuated on trying to score his points. That's that's what he's that's what his main objective is. Score points. That's all he wanna do. But okay, if, if that's your if that's your objective, put in a request to be traded. Cause you don't wanna be with them no more. They don't want you no more. They don't need you. They got no point guard, they got Schroeder, they got none, they got a bunch of people now, you know what I'm saying? Plus Patrick Beverly. And you guys, you can't you can't get along. You still you still holding on a grudge. You know what I'm saying? Even though Pat Bev is trying to make amends with you, you still holding a grudge. Put in that request to be traded. There's a lot of teams that can use you. There's a lot of teams that can use a who can need who need a star. You know what I'm saying? You're a star when you by yourself. If you if you got your own little team with your own rules that because you're not no team player. You're not you're not a person that can start up, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody pass to you, you know what I'm saying, you go do what you gotta do. 
do a one man show. You want to do triple doubles. You know what I'm saying? There's some teams out there. Uh, Indiana just had offered uh, two players for you. And it's draft picks. But, but they want draft picks back. They want the draft picks from the Lakers. They want the 27 and the. What? what 24th or 25th and the 27th? 2027 pick? For what's the rest book? And they're giving you Buddy Hill and a center. A good center, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not, not eat nothing. It's not like they're going to give you nothing. And they fit perfectly for the Lakers. They fit perfect for the Lakers. And they need a star. They need a star over there. They need, they need, they need uh, attraction over there. But those people, they're good players, but they role players. They need uh, attraction. They need a Russell Westbrook coming there. So to get his triple doubles. Since he want to be this, the show, he want to be the man. Go, go there. You know, find out that's a, good, that's, a, that's a team that needs somebody. You know what I'm saying? They need a star. Uh, Indiana needs a star. Uh, what's got the Raptors need a star. The Pistons need a star. Who else? Oklahoma, they just need to get you back. You know what I'm saying? They can come back and get you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be... Get you get your uh, get a couple draft picks for the uh, Oklahoma City so you go back home. You don't need to go back with Kevin Durant. So that's what they were saying. But Kevin Durant should not be that should not be one of your uh, options. Who else needs to stop? Well, you should be go back to Washington Wizards. The Washington Wizards. You did you did well with the Washington Wizards and with Bradley Beal. That like that seemed like that's something that you could do. On the, on the side with uh, Bradley Bill, both of y'all. It seemed like y'all worked good together because before that, you used to with Houston and James Harden, they want to work with you. He asked you to come, but he didn't want to work with you. You couldn't, you couldn't do good with him. Then you had Melo and Paul George in Oklahoma City. Couldn't work with him. Ran KD about it. Couldn't work with him. You're running out of teams, bro. You're running out of teams. You got to figure something out. What you want to do? Quest for that trade and get somebody, you know what I'm saying? There's some good teams out there. Who else? Who else out there that ain't really like at the bottom that you don't really have a star when them small? Oh, you know he ain't going to San Antonio. That's what's going to happen at. Even though he up, he up, he have him. But none of that, he going to, you probably need him so he can get re re resurrect resurrect his uh, career. Learn how to play basic basketball skills and stuff like that. But that's all you need. They need a star too. They ain't got nobody. They got rid of their uh, point guard. I don't know what the hell they do that for. Yeah. But hey, that's all I want to know. Just want to talk to you guys about Russ Westbrook. What do you think he should do? You think he should uh, continue to try to play? Do something? He's, he's, he needed to uh, continue to play? Y'all put y'all comment down below, let me know.